Hey guys, welcome back to Angry Mac Adventures and today we're finally starting the Evan Root E-Tech so everything has come down to today and I cannot wait. Now if you guys are following the series, you'd know that I did purchase this a couple of months ago and um, just slowly starting to fit it out to the Voyager. So with everything that was happening in the world at the moment, I actually couldn't go physically see this engine. It was approximately three to four hours away from where I live in Perth. So um, it was just a matter of good communication with the seller and he was awesome. He gave me uh, all the receipts, um, service history was up to date, anything that did need fixing was fixed uh, straight away. So I pretty much put it on a train and uh, shipped it down here and I couldn't be happier. So a couple of things we've got to do just before we start the engine and that is installing the dual battery system, making sure the wiring is all up to scratch. We've got to hook up all the gauges, make sure they're all hooked up, ready to go. And then uh, it's just a matter of priming the oil and the fuel up to the engine. And um, yeah, hopefully we can start it and see how she runs and hopefully she's a winner. So just before I start this episode, I wanted to say I did purchase a new camera so I could get better footage of the boat restoration. So I am mucking around with the settings at the moment, so uh, bear with me. But other than that, hope you enjoy the episode. Sweet, so last episode, uh, we just finished installing uh, the rest of the wiring. Uh, we've also installed inside there the oil dispenser. We have got ourselves a brass fitting uh, to hook up the two oil lines. Now, like I was mentioning before, the oil tank is gonna be living in here. So you've got nice, easy access to fill it up. And if anything goes wrong, well, you've, uh, you've got full access to that and of course the fuel tank as well and all the lines then run to the back so it's all nice and neat so what i was explaining to you guys last week is that this here is what's off the oil tank which is the the primer and um this here is what hooks up to the engine and i needed something to connect these together so i went down to pertech and i went and purchased this uh, adapter here and a couple of nice clamps so after a little bit of stuffing around, we got that on. Uh, just tighten up these clamps, just open them up. Hopefully they go over, yep, just like so. And uh, tighten that down nice and secure. Alrighty, so the next step is hooking up all the gauges, which is just behind me in the dash. And um, this pre-delivery and installation instruction manual from Evinrude uh, is great help because uh, they pretty much show you everything. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, it shows you where all the wiring goes, the ground, ignition, um, starter, all the stuff here, and it's been great help. So I will be um, finishing off the gauges tonight. Sorry if you can hear that, that's just rain, rain, rain today. Um, it also tells you um, how to hook up your dual battery system if you are running twin outboard, single outboard, um, twin battery, single battery. Uh, it goes through all the detail. It tells you how to prime your oil tank and make sure that you get the best out of your engine as well. So what I'm working with at the moment, you've got your, your taco, which is just a main wire that plugs in. And then you've also got, I believe, your trim and your voltage meter here. So each one um, has three or four wires that are attached to it, which are over here. And of course, you've got your alarm as well. That's if um, you have any faults like uh, engine overheating or not enough water pressure temperature etc so we're getting really close to starting it um, the wiring's almost done. I've just got a little bit uh, to go here. The alarm system's now all installed, so that's a good little area. It'll echo in the cab, and I'm pretty sure these things are really loud as well. So that'll be a good spot to put. Um, I'll clean all the wiring up in a second. Uh, next to install is the inspection port. So we'll put that in where the fuel sender is, um, so I don't keep walking on it and damaging it. So right where the uh, oil sender is, I've got an inspection port here. Um, for the fuel sender. 
So if I just pull this tape away, which has just been sitting there uh, since we painted the boat, there's just an inspection port uh, that I've made up so it sits perfectly in there. So what we're gonna do is uh, just for a good seal is put some of that marine flex silicon just around the outside, just like that. And we'll just push this on, make sure it's aesthetically pleasing as well. Push that down like that. Loves it. Voila, done. So that inspection port is now done and it sits nice and flush and um, plenty of room to access just in case this needs to be switched out or um, we've got itself a fault. That's beautiful, looks good, done. So that inspection port turned out really nice. So same goes with this hatch here, just sealing it with the silicon, screwing it in, and that turned out really nice. So it's pretty exciting to get some power into the boat. So you've got a primary and you've got a secondary battery. Your primary is just for starting the outboard. You want that to be, yeah, just for starting the outboard and everything uh, the outboard needs uh, power-wise. And for your secondary battery, that's where you run all your accessories. What we'll do is we'll hook up everything, make sure we've got power to the boat, and then um, tomorrow we can uh, put some oil in it, fuel prime everything up, make sure there's no air leaks, air bubbles I should say, and um, get this thing started. So I've hooked it up now and all I want to see if there actually is power going through the system. So that's all hooked up now. We're just going to turn this on number two. And let's cross fingers we hear a noise. Oh, look at that. So I'm not going to keep it on too long because as soon as you turn that key on, the engine starts um, priming up um, and there's no fuel or oil in there at the moment. So I just wanted to make sure that the wiring's all good. That seems to be working all okay. So tomorrow's job is to yeah fill the oil up, prime it all, fuel, and um, yeah get it started. So that's pretty exciting. Now have a look at that for some electrical work. So that's where I put the switch for easy access. And then I've got my main battery and my secondary battery. So I'll clean this bit up with a bit of Cori and uh, put it up there, but that's looking really good. Well, it's the next day, guys. There's only two more things to do, and that is to put the oil in it, put the fuel in it, and prime it up. And we should be set to go. So I'll do that right now. Let's see if this thing starts. So there's a few different brands and types of oil that you can use in these Evan Roods, but one that uh, is recommended by the dealership is the uh, the XPS Evan Rood XD100. So we'll be using this. It's a synthetic formula oil, and um, yeah, apparently it's uh, one of the best of the best oils to use on these Evan Roods. So we'll be using this today. So I've just put one of these in, which is just one US gallon, which is approximately 3.75 litres, and that's given it about three quarters full to the oil tank. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to prime everything up and make sure that there's no leaks. And um, they do recommend on the Evan Rood E-Tech site to always carry a spare. So that's why I bought the two there. Um, what I'll do now, yep, is just check the system, make sure that there's no leaks. So to prime it up, You've got yourself a um, primer here, and it's just a matter of squeezing it. And what that does is just push the oil through the lines to the engine. All right, so last thing we've got to do is there was one cable that I had to run for the oil sensor to the oil tank, because uh, I needed to take this bracket off to run it through. So I'm just putting the throttle body back on, or the throttle cable, I should say. Um, just bear with me. All right, the battery's connected. 
Let's see if she starts. That's it for the engine start, I can't believe it. Started first kick, sounds really nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to check over everything, um, make sure that there's no, no loose bolts, no loose connections, make sure everything's tightened up. But man, that's just a step closer to finishing this build. So, oh man, absolutely stoked. Absolutely stoked. Well guys, that's it for another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Man, I'm over the moon. Absolutely pumped, but Stay tuned, please consider subscribing for weekly updates on the build and um, I'll see you in the next one.